You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at a different kind of pen. Not a fountain pen, but a rollerball pen. Sharpie has been making all kinds of interesting stuff lately. They started out making these Sharpie markers. I mean, we all know the big permanent markers. And they had these marker pens with like these uh, porous point tips. Uh, then, not too long ago, they had the Sharpie S-Gel pens, which I decided are, like, they're pretty okay. Uh, I don't, I don't use them very often. Uh, I just have other gel pens that I like better, and, uh, so I, I just kind of set them to the side, but... Recently, they came out with these Sharpie roller balls, which are capped roller balls. And somebody said, hey, Mike, you need to try those out. So I'm gonna. These are needle points. This is a three color, four pin pack, which means I get two black pens. You know, whatever. I don't love the black pens. Usually I, I don't use black all that much, but whatever. That's fine. I know that that's, uh, that's a popular color. It says engineered for precision, always vivid writing. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the bleeding and spreading and stuff. See, these say no smear, no bleed technology, always vivid. It's pretty, it's pretty good, pretty good ink in these things, I think. Uh, I just, I don't love the, I don't love the grip. It's a little bit too pinchy for me, but, uh, it seems okay. These are experience a high performance roller ball, roller pen. These are experience a high performance gel pen. Uh, so we'll see what these are like. Let's open them up, give them a little writing sample and, uh, see how they look. I like to not rip the plastic off of it so I can put the pins back in their container. There we go. I'll only take out one of the black ones. All right. So, they have a good feel to them. I like that. Uh, the clip is... A clip is on a little bit on the cheap side, actually. It's not like this clip. This is an interesting, interesting clip. It's kind of flat, but it's got this nice ramp to it. A little bit of a concavity in there, I suppose, but not much. Uh, top is kind of... Uh, there's nothing really to say about this top thing here. This clip is a little bit on the extreme side. Look how much that comes out. They really want you to be able to put that on your jeans. It feels like it's got a good amount of spring to it, though. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna loosen it up. Uh, the body looks like it's opaque. It's got kind of a nice matte finish to it. I like that, all right. Cap. Cap, it takes some force to come off. It's not gonna come off accidentally in your pocket, that's for sure. Uh, and then, here we go. Interesting, interesting shape they've got going on here. It's like a bullet shape. Like there's no real break between the uh, the grip section here and the nose cone. And then it does have this very fine needle point on it, which is kind of nice. Let's see. Can I can I see through the barrel at all? No. I don't think. So this I thought was going to show you how much ink was in the chamber. This little window right in here. But I don't think so, because I can't get a bubble there. And here it looks like it's solid. So I think it's out, this is actually all feed. And you see that feed sometimes in things like the Pilot V razors and stuff like that. And I'm totally fine with that feed. A lot of people get worried that there's ink in there. It's okay. There's supposed to be ink in there. That's totally normal. Don't worry about that. Um, does this come apart at all? No, no part of this is... No part of this is have, has any give. So we can't see what's in there. We can't see how much ink we have. That might be a bit of a problem, but... Uh, you know, I think you'll know when your rollerball runs out. Let's see how the red looks. I think the red looks pretty good. Alright, so the grips are actually... That's kind of interesting. So the the black one is kind of translucent. The red... or transparent. The red is translucent and the blue is... also transparent, I think. Interesting. They kind of went with this translucent look on the red. Huh. Huh. Anyway. Alright, looks pretty good. Let's get some paper and see how this works. This is a, 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 a uh, <laughs> let's see what I do here. Oh, this is all like notes on stuff. This is a Baron Fig Mastermind, the little mastermind. It's pretty average paper. Uh, and so I think it's a good uh, analog for whatever you've probably got sitting around your office because it's pretty average. It's on the thick side, but it does tend to be a little bit absorbent. It's not amazing for fountain pens, but it's okay. And it's good for pretty much everything else. So Sharpie. And it didn't have a great start, but a lot of times with these pens, you got to get them kind of going. And this is the first out of the box impression I've got here. This black is this black is gray at best. I'm not. I don't like this black. That sucks. Let's try the blue. What size are these things? Uh, these are zero or uh, .05s or sorry, zero point fives. 
Uh, so not a very uh, not a very wide rollerball, but still. I think the blue is actually quite a lot better than the black. Uh, it looks really bright on my screen here, maybe, but I think that's, I mean, it's kind of a light blue. It's not like the most, it's not the darkest blue, but it is vivid for sure. And they did promise vividness, vividosity. I think it writes well. It doesn't skip or have like a weird feeling like this is getting real gray in some areas. The blue seems like it's better than the black, so that's good. Let's try out the red. I'm going to try out the other black one just in case that was just sort of a, an off one, but... Uh, Sharpie. Oh, I don't like this at all. Wow, this doesn't feel like it wants to roll. Yeah, this... This is junk. <laughs> this doesn't... Doesn't really want to work. Get a little bit more ink there. All right, red is junk. Let's try the last black one. I am very disappointed in these. Blech. Just writes, writes like pants. All right, let's try uh, black pen number two. This is better than the first one, I think, where the first one was like fading out to gray bits in here. This one seems like it's uh, staying, staying pretty good, although it is a very... It's super fine, and I got some skips already. I hate it when a rollerball skips. That's a thing I just don't have much of a tolerance for. I don't know why. I expect better. Uh, this one is a little bit better. So this black pen and the blue one are pretty okay. Let's give the blue another scribble. Yeah, the blue's pretty okay. I'm not loving the color. It's a little bit too light and bright for me. Uh, for a, you know, like these are kind of, kind of like fancy-ish, you know, officey pens, and. Um, like that blue, just I don't know, it doesn't really fit for me. But this red is just garbo. Look at this. Just, just not good. If I press down, yeah, if you press down, you can feel the balls. Like, there's some, so the way a rollerball works is you have like a tube. That's what's going on here. Is you have this tube, this pipe, and at the end of this pipe. Let's see if I can get the... Yeah, okay, we got, we got good focus now. At the end of this pipe is a little tiny ball. And behind that ball is a post that, like, sort of keeps the, the ball in place. Otherwise, the ball would move around in there. And sometimes with a roller ball, you can feel that sort of... That assembly in there move. Like, you can feel it go tink. And that is a... That is bad. I don't like when I feel that. I remember the original, like, old-timey inner gels. Uh, do I have one of those handy anymore? Uh... I think they all died. I don't think I have any more. But the original old-timey inner gels would have that, uh, where you'd sometimes hear like a tink, and then sometimes this post would shoot out past the ball, and so it would like be poking out the end, and it would just like scrape, and it wouldn't write anymore. I I think that it's safest. I'm gonna say give these a pass. Don't don't for, go for the rollerball. These uh, sharpie pen stylo rollerballs, they're not good. This is a bad. Premium metal clip. It's not a premium metal clip at all. A precise writing. I mean, I guess, but but it's not good. It's it's not good. Don't get these. Pass. Pass on these. All right, that's it. See y'all later. <laughs> Peace out.